All right, hi guys. So we're going to be filming a um, uh, a different version of the sticky hand drill. Um, this version of the drill is going to attempt to integrate the pad drills and the sticky hand drill that we normally do. Um, I'm going to film it in three different parts, so three different phases. Um, the last phase maybe is the more advanced phase, and you can you guys can kind of imagine how it would scale once we do it. I'm thinking with the last phase being more for scholars or advanced recruits, I guess, and the earlier phase is just regular recruit class, okay? So to start off, we have, obviously we have a sticky hand drill, right? So, which is getting our, doing our grappling and learning basic sensitivity, stop, using the six tools, right? So we have the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, with underhooks, rather, right? Then we have single neck grabs, double neck grabs, and close body hold of three variations. Cross body, cross body, or just double high, looking at me, or double low, looking at me, right? And they all have their advantages and they have their uses. So that's the sticky hand drill, right? And we're looking for isolation, which is a case where I am on all of my weapons on half of his, or we're looking for domination, where our partner is, their, their fourth tutor is broken somehow, right? And as soon as we get one of those things in the normal drill, we reset and we continue. That's the normal sticky hand drill. The normal pad drill, so we have all our basic feeds, right? We have our jab cross feed. We have our jab cross hook. We have our roundhouse kick, okay? And we have our four basic tests. Uh, come closer. We have our two two tests up the middle, right? The jab and cross, which the same blows that we threw. We also have hook tests, right, around the side, right? And um, and really that's it, right? Four tests and four strikes. Okay. So the idea is to integrate these. So here's how we. Here's the first phase. The first phase is the instructor of the recruit class is watching everyone, and everyone's doing the sticky hand drill, right? And you can scale the sticky hand drill as normal based on your preferences, whatever. But the instructor's gonna call frame. So we have two guys doing a sticky hand drill. So let's just say we're doing sticky hands and everything's in, right? So we're flowing through everything. Take my glasses. And then the instructor calls frame. So then someone, someone will have um, been, uh, we will have agreed who's the striker and who's the framer. So in this video, I'm gonna be the framer all the time. So the framer is going to push out and frame something with just their, just their palms, right? And then uh, they're gonna get right back into it. So here we go, wrestling, doing our sticky hand drill, frame. So we get the picture, right? So the only difference between this and the normal stick hand drill is that every once in a while, the instructor of the class is gonna call frame and one of the partners is gonna give a feed, right? And you can also scale the feed if you just want to do jabs and cross, it's fine. If you want to do jab, cross, hook, or just kicks or one of the two, whatever, that's up to the instructor, right? You can scale that as you see fit. But if we do this, then we're actually integrating the striking into the grappling in a very controlled and yet organic way. So I hope that if we do that, it'll be useful. The second phase of the drill, which we also tried the other day, is when the instructor doesn't call it, and the framer of the pair, whenever they want, pushes out. So we're going, we're going, we're wrestling, and the framer makes space and frame something. And then immediately comes back in. Right, the framer makes space, frame something. Frame make space. Frame circle. And that way, that way it's even more organic because the the partner is actually deciding, or one of the partners actually deciding when to set the situation up. And they're all and they have to physically like they have to kind of think of what's the best. How do I get out of this in the best way? How do I break contact and and uh, frame something, right? What the striker's getting, the striker's getting the sensation 
of having space or thrust upon them and having to follow back in, right? Which is exactly what you might do. Or you might just leave if that space is made. But if, 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 you're, if you're wrestling somebody and they're trying to get away from you, make space, as soon as that space is made, you want to come in with strikes and then get right back into it, right? So, um, so there's that, there's that version, right? So just to recap, the first version is when normal sticky hands, right? Normal sticky hands are getting our, our normal stuff, right? The instructor calls frame, the framer steps back, frames something, and then you get back into it. The second version is there's no call, the framer just pushes off whenever they want and frames something, and then they get back into it. Okay? Of course, this presupposes that whatever you're framing, the person knows. So if the whole class at the time isn't aware of the same frame, if the whole class at the time isn't aware of the same frames, then you might say only frame what you know, or everybody only frame you know the one simple thing, or however you want to go about it. But you get the picture, right? The last version is sort of what I think the most, the more advanced version would be. This is where we're going to just try it out for a bit to see how it goes. So we're both going to wear MMA gloves, and we're going to combine the sticky hand drill, the normal pad drill without the pads, as you've been doing, but also the testing, right? But we're going to wear MMA gloves just so that the testing is a little easier on our uh, joints, but we're not actually hitting, right? we're not actually striking the other guy, we're not actually trying to hit him in the face or anything like that. We're just doing the normal test, okay? So uh, we're going to try that and see how it goes. So in this version, I'm still the framer, and it's um, everything's in for sticky hands, and we're adding in the basic, the all the basic feeds, the jab, cross, hook, and the kick, and also um, I'm going to be testing them as well. We're going to just do that for a couple minutes, and that'll be it. Okay. Is that mostly the frame? Okay, so uh, how was that, Miguel? Good. What do you think? Um, yeah. The only thing is the uh, framing needs to be clear in this particular drill because it's, right. it gets a little challenging when I'm not sure if you're testing or framing. Right, for sure. Uh, so that's another reason why this is this one we did is probably 
better as an advanced drill when the uh, framing you're using is very clear. Um, if I was doing it in a class, especially because we haven't really done this before, I would probably review the frames before we did it, at least for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Just the jab cross hook and the kick, just to make sure that that's fresh in people's minds before we tried it. How did you think the grappling integrated? Uh, I think it's, it was pretty natural. Like, we're, uh, we're going around. Um, there was a clear break, which may not be entirely uh, appropriate to, to random fighting, but that last drill actually broke that and cleared that up a little bit because there are natural breaks where you step back, and yeah. isolate me, and then you break. I felt like I, uh, I broke a little too often, but I mean, this is the second time I've ever done this, so, so uh, I feel like that I'll get better at that as we go and, and so on. So anyway, so that's the, that's the idea. Um, we're going to do it more here and workshop it and maybe we'll find more variations or whatever. I'll hope you uh, guys in Guelph and Stratford, Ottawa and Digby think it's interesting. And uh, let me know if you guys try it, what you guys think. Uh, you got anything else to say about that? Alright, cool. Thanks guys. That's it.